Hello everyone. Still cloudy. It's early on a Saturday morning. How you doing? <sighs> a little cold. Just ran a guy just pulled in next to me. He's putting on a wetsuit because they're they're basically taking some disabled people out on surfboards and teaching them how to surf and stuff. So it's really cool. I was talking to him about his suit and. You know the purpose of it. I'm not a surfer. I've never actually surfed, so I, you know, I was just asking questions because I plan on surfing. So he was telling me about how you know the, the little bit of water gets on the insides to help warm, and they just warm, the body warms it up, so it kind of keeps you warm. <clears throat> I thought that was cool. He was like a high end. It was like four hundred bucks or so, made in Japan. But that brought me to another thought. Um, I watched the trailer for Dune, the new version, the newest. There was three of them. I think there's three, yeah. There's original, which I love. And it was a little cheesy, but it's original. And it was it's the original score and all that stuff. And actors and I love that one. Then there's a second one, which I thought was cool. I, I dug it. And I saw I've just seen the previews for the third Dune. And it's pretty awesome. I gotta admit. I'm not I just I hate Hollywood. I think they're scum, they're evil, and media, corporate, all of it. It's all one big conglomerate scumbagish. But you know. They're trying to keep people <clears throat> desensitized and they're trying to keep you lulled into the sense of comfort and security so that it can control you. Right now, the evil, you know, the bad, the dark hearts are in control of the world. Biden is a dark heart. Sorry, they're all dark hearts. Trump wasn't. That's why he was just being brutalized from day one. From even the Republicans, which I think was funny because most Republicans are evil too. They're all dark hearts. Don't get don't get me wrong. I don't have a side. When people go, oh, you're a conservative or Republican, please. No, I'm me. I'm the emperor of the fucking universe. Nobody, and I mean nobody, gets anything by me. Period. End of story. If Trump were bullshit me, I tell I call him on it. I just know who's telling the truth. He's just you know I'd say Trump is an he's he has an ego, but he's using his for good. God's using him. You know God will use anybody God wants to get what he wants done or she wants done so Trump is being used by the universe and God for good which is crazy when you think about it and the people who are in charge at this point right now are all evil they're all they're all dark hearts so it sucks I hate that but you know well, I'm still curious to see how it's gonna play out age of the Aquarius man you can't dark hearts aren't welcome but anyways let's get back to the movie because I know it's, it's, the movie is interesting, it's cool, and let's get back to the wetsuit idea. If it hasn't, if somebody hasn't already figured this one out, somebody's going to make a lot of money, and I'd like to get a little cut of it, because it's my idea, but make a wetsuit that looks like those fighter suits in Dune. You know how quick those things will go off the shelf? It doesn't have to be too elaborate, but, and plus, you can actually use the suit itself to do the purpose of keeping you warm. If you actually have cash pockets in these things, I mean, the, the movies are awesome. The, look at the, the the first movie with um, Kyle McLaughlin or whatever. But yeah, the first movie with even Patrick Stewart was in it. Yes, he was he was awesome. But Patrick Stewart, um, John Luke Picard is in the first Dune, and the suits that they wore in the first Dune were really sick. Those would be probably the ones I would base it on if you're gonna do a wetsuit based on the movie Dune. I'm just throwing that out there for somebody that is in the wetsuit industry. Make some money, man. It'd be cool. And you can even do like a light colors, like light red and light blue, and even ones with the reds on the shoulders that were his personal bodyguards. It was sick. Watch the movie. Sci-fi is awesome. Evil can't corrupt sci-fi. They could try. But like I said, you know, it's funny because like I said, God will use evil against itself. This movie, Dune, is about good and evil. It's about the Quizart Hadrack. It's about somebody that comes along and blows all the bullshit out of the water. Somebody who's beyond the bullshit. Somebody who can't be touched by corruption, by evil, by darkness. And it can't be swayed either way, left or right. You can't be bullshit. You can't bullshit the Quizart Hadrack. The one that sees through everything and everybody. That's a sick movie. Go watch the new Dune. I have faith that it's going to be good. Um, normalcy is good. I don't this new normal bullshit. I hate their little code words and stuff. And 
super carriers and all that bullshit, you know, super spammers. These people are just horrible with their words. But anyway, but you're not. You're awesome. Don't buy the bullshit. Trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Trust the voice inside you. Not the one that tells you to go and party and hump people and that you don't know and do all kinds of weird drugs and shit. That's not the voice you want to hear. <laughs> you want to listen to the voice that says you love yourself, treat yourself well, eat well, live well, breathe. Don't surround yourself with toxic human beings because there's uh, so many. Families tend to be a lot of toxic people are in your family and that's it's almost like you don't realize that the same people that are supposed to be loving you are the ones that are keeping you down. It's sad because they're, they've already lost and given up and they're karmics. People become karmics. And anyway, but yeah, enough of that deep spiritual gobbledygook. I want you to understand this though. You are beautiful. You are wonderful. You're a miracle. And you deserve to be loved. So love yourself. And again, Trust your own instincts. Don't believe what people tell you. Ask questions. And if people tell you that asking questions is bad, that's a red flag. You should be able to ask any question. Transparency is with every breath. So everything you ask should not be... I'm sorry. I learned everything I learned by asking questions. If I didn't ask questions, I'd be one ignorant son of a bitch. Pardon my French. I don't know what's going on. But yeah. I, you know, karmics are around you. So I'm very blessed that I love myself and I've broken free. And I want you to break free too, babe. All of you. So love and light, okay? And have a wonderful day. And breathe. Drink lots of water. Stretch. Try to go for a walk. Exercise. Just love yourself. Because you're amazing. Anyway, I'll let you go. Have a wonderful day. And there's the ocean.